Hey, what's going on guys? Boo from Mile High Distilling. Now before this video begins, I wanna link you guys in with a really awesome deal. This is to support you guys, all the love you give us. We wanna push it a little bit forward to you. So we have a discount code that anyone watching this video can use on our site if you get there in time, okay? It is limited deals. We're looking right now just to test the waters at 15. The first 15 customers can use this code right here. That's thanks for watching and you can get 15% off anything on our site. So today's video is gonna be showing some stills. Maybe you wanna spend 15% off on one of those stills. Maybe this video gets you back into the hobby. Maybe you haven't made a batch in a few months. Well, go get some yeast and uh, some maybe a fermenter bucket from us. Get 15% off on that. So you can easily save a few hundred dollars on a lot of our stills by using this discount code right here. Be sure to do that before it's gobbled up and if we have good results, we'll be looking at doing that in the future, potentially. This code is active until the 24th of February. So spring on it, guys. Let's get it done. Now onto the video. One question I get asked quite a lot is how to set up my still. Now, usually I'll just send people, you know, pictures of the unit they're getting. But I wanted to go ahead and do a video on this just so people have that reference. It's much easier to just show you how it's done than talk about it. As well as I kind of want to use it as like a small bragging point. It's nothing big, but I do love how easy our stills are to assemble. I mean, you're literally just clamping things together and you're done, your machine's put up. It's, it's really, really easy. So we're gonna do a short video today, show you how everything's done. Let's get a full system assembled and we'll take it from there. Now our first step is our boiler right here. So this is a mile high, eight gallon boiler. We have a two inch heating port down below here. We're also gonna have a half inch thermometer port, just a threaded port, and then we have our lid. So pretty simple, let's show you how it's done. So the main way we set things up on our cans are these two pieces right here. This is a tri-clamp fitting. This is a tri-clamp gasket. This helps the seal. This actually uh, puts the joints together, make sure nothing is wobbly loose. So let's go ahead and put our gasket right on this flanged port right here. It should fall right in through the groove. What's gonna come stock in every mile high can is this cap right here. So we're gonna cap you off. That's if you're using propane or a hot plate. And boom, simple. So we're gonna clamp right there. That's gonna handle this port. Now additionally, if you're using a heating element, the same rules are gonna apply. You're gonna slide that right in with that gasket in between and clamp down. What we have for our NPT port is going to be this plug. That's gonna come standard. Some people also get a thermometer. The only rules that are gonna apply here is you wanna make sure anything threaded on our systems are with Teflon tape around them to protect that seal. Screw in and done. Now here is our lid. This comes in two, three, four, or six inch diameter, depending what tower you have. And what I hope you guys can see there is these gaskets have a ribbed side. This is a little indent throughout this gasket. And then this side is completely flat. Now what we do is take our lid and put the full flat side inside of the rim on the lid. So that this ribbed side here can fit right on the collar of our boiler. Here's our lid clamp. And we're already finished with our boilers. So you see how easy the boiler is. The tower is just as simple. Now some of the mile high towers here are as simple as they can get. It's a piece of pipe and there might be adjoining pieces of pipe, but Regardless, there's no joints in this tower. This is one solid piece. So our dual purpose, our Mighty Mini, our pot stills, a lot of our pot stills are really just one piece like this. And once more, it really doesn't get more simple than this. We're gonna take that same gasket right here, attach the end of our tri-clamp onto the end of our lid. clamp things down and then really we get on our top. So you might have the natural style. You might've purchased that. And if that's the case, put that on top and you're ready to distill. Or you might've gotten the stainless steel upgrade, which if that's the case, remember to keep this Teflon taped, screw into your adapter. That'll come with your unit, gasket down, joint in, clamp down, boom. That unit would be completed outside of hoses, which I do have another video on. Make sure to watch that. You can watch that by following the link in this corner. 
what I think will be the case with a lot of you guys is going to be having a little more of an advanced tower. We make some really modular, awesome systems, and they're coming pieces like this. Now these, I definitely get more questions on. People aren't really sure of configurations, anything like that. But again, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. We're clamping things down, and then really our configurations, they kind of change depending on what we're doing. So we'll show you what each part is doing, and then you can kind of configure your own setup. If you have a Mighty Mini Pro, a Dual Purpose Pro, or a Torpedo Pro, same configurations will apply. We always start with our bottom extension, whether we're running pot still mode or reflux mode. I always try to keep this on. One thing I didn't mention is make sure with your bottom piece that's going to attach to your lid, we're putting in our copper packing. And depending on the model, I'd also take this time to go ahead and pour in your rashing rings. If you're planning to use reflux, I'd pour them in this and just continue to build up from there. If it's a one piece, set it on top and pour in from the top. What can go next on this configuration is going to be our reflux chamber. This is used for high proof neutral spirit. If you're not doing that and planning to use as a pot still, go ahead and skip this part. We'll install this next. And same rules apply once more. Gasket, put on that joint, sandwich them in, and then clamp down. This is our infusion basket, which is probably the biggest selling point of our pro models. This is where plant material, botanicals, different media would sit and flavor. Now, if you're in pot still, you connect that right to that bottom extension. Or if you're in reflux setup, go ahead and put in that reflux like I showed you and put this on top. This right here is a condenser of a lot of our pro models. And even though it's much smaller, the same rules apply. That is a tri-clamp. So again, all we're doing is clamping down. So this is the very top of our pro models. That's where that thermometer will sit on top. Now notice this elbow. Again, our tri-clamp here and then we attach our condenser through this other end of the elbow. If you have a copper tower for mile high distilling, things are gonna ever so slightly change. Whereas our stainless unit is going to have these tri-clamp ferrules on both sides. And again, we just clamp on both sides to our connecting joints. Our copper elbows are gonna have a ferrule on one side with a nice thread here on the other. All that's gonna change is instead of clamp and clamp, we do a clamp and a thread. Bam. Now what's so nice about these Nibco fittings here is that you really don't need to put any thread tape around these threads. This is such a tight seal, you won't have to worry about it. And from there, you can begin to see how these tri-clamps make things so easy because like I said, we can install a reflux condenser on top of this simply by putting that joint in and clamping down. Same with the infusion baskets, and then we can get crazy. We can add some sections in there. We can add further on extensions. We can add whiskey helmets. We can do a bunch with just that tri-clamp format, and it really lets you Frankenstein a tower, which is why we like them so much. And keep in mind, this applies to every still Mile High makes. So whether you have a mighty mini one-piece tower from us or a six-section flute from us, the same rules are going to apply. We're gonna start with our base, we're gonna put a joint down, we're gonna clamp down, and then we're gonna continue all the way through until our tower is built until completion. The only models these won't apply for are copper Olympic stills, which are actually made in Europe that we import here, as well as still spirits stills, which are made out of New Zealand. To give you a quick rundown of Olympic stills, here's one, and all we do with them is take our pot belly boiler, <laughs> install our onion head like this, and then in between the worm, and the pot belly boiler and onion head, we install a line arm. Now if you get your still here, we'll have these really fancy union fittings that allow you to screw on and complete without any sort of other paste or anything like that. Now some manufacturers keep this flared at the end of this line arm because the way Olympics are set to be is the same way you'll still have to do around that pot belly boiler you have to install a paste around here to keep it sealed. Each Alembic is made by hand, so they try their best to kind of seal them to where you don't even need anything. But I would say about 90% of the time, it's not a perfect match. It's pretty hard to do perfect, so you'll still need that paste around it. Now we have this line arm that has these union fittings to make that part easy. You might find other manufacturers out there where you still have to apply that around that line arm. Not a big deal, but if you can make it simpler, you might as well. So try to get your limit here. Now, if you have a Turbo 500, I'd really implore you guys to go check out Still Spirit's YouTube channel. 
They have really extensive videos on running their machines and they can tell you a lot about assembly. But I'll give you a general rundown of their fittings called bulkhead. They use bulkhead fittings on their towers. Now how these fittings work is we have a screw and this makes it so it can attach to a weldless fitting like this. This doesn't have any sort of tri-clamp. There's nothing to really attach, but this bulkhead fitting will go on one side of the lid and your tower goes on the other to connect in that way. Now, if you have a Still Spirits tower, I recommend doing this upside down because this column right here, I took all mine out, but it's usually filled with a bunch of beads. And if we go the opposite way, it's pretty easy to see what would happen. We'll put our tower down, we'll put our lid over, and then we just screw that bulkhead right through, just like that. T500 is ready to go outside of hoses. All right, guys, that has been the video. A little short one, but something that I think needs to be done. Give you guys some reference. I hope you guys get some of our equipment if you don't have it already. We make extremely easy to assemble and use systems. We have highly efficient towers. And on top of looking absolutely beautiful, they're pretty much lifelong. They are investments. We've had stills that have literally survived hurricanes. We have people that have had their mile high still 20 years plus and still going strong with it. So hope you guys now know how to assemble. If you've recently purchased from us, thank you so very much for your business. Take advantage of that coupon code if you haven't already. And guys, we will see you next video. Thank you.